Hey guys, Girl Blind Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Shane. Rick. I'm Calvin. Aaron. And we are back finally with My Hero Academia. Uh, the dub took another break last week. We're sorry um, that we can't be with you for that week, but we're here this time. Last time on... I needed the extra week to recover. Yeah. Not I died with a smile. He did. And he it died was, around his friends. He did. It's um, a good way. Better than to the unspeakable horror that... that uh, overhaul unleashes. Yeah, but well, yes, previous true aids and stuff. I, I think it also may have given him, like, he was able to die with some peace of knowing, like, that the future he saw didn't have to be written in stone. Mm. So, like, All Might's fate could be different. Yeah, yep. you know. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but someone whose fate I didn't expect. I guess I probably should have because Shigaraki's a son of a bitch. But he destroyed <laughs> his arms and and fucked over Chikasi or whatever. What is his name? Right, Chikasi. Overhaul. Yeah, 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 but he, he yeah, destroyed his arm so he can't use his quirk, <laughs> and he was just having a ball being an evil son of a bitch. He was. He was good at it, too. He was. <laughs> and he took the remaining bullet things, and yeah. Yeah, so we'll have to see what they're going to do with that. Somehow, Nadai claims that despite losing his power, Mario is going to be the finest hero. Yes, Mario. Man, I just... Oh. Which, uh, we, we were talking last week about, like, well, can he even do that? Can he even... Be at UA, so they, uh, and someone reminded me, like, yeah, they do have courses for people that aren't heroes. Yeah, support they have courses, support business courses, courses, business, and, and all that stuff. So I don't know if we'll transition or if we'll just, you know, maybe you can get some cool gear and continue. I don't know. He'd be a heck of a, of a guy in the van, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's you got would. all that experience and all that uh, like upbeatness too. I think yeah. he'd be great as like a like a, he could be like a Batman y character with like support items from like support girl on them, yeah. you know? Yeah, like, no. the way he was fighting without any powers or gadgets or anything. Imagine if he learned how to fight like that and also utilize some kind of gadgets or yeah. like, grappling hooks or mm -hmm. smoke I mean, he bombs. Was, or he was able to utilize his quirk, which was tanks. not an easy task. So he could also just be a badass cop too. Yeah, Fun. yeah. Take yeah. over from uh, Tsukiyuchi when he retires. Yeah, how about dog? No, that's the no. That's wolf. No, he will live forever. Good boy. Uh, okay, so we're going to jump into the reaction, which is over the website, down in the description. Get it? Yeah, the, uh, at, at the ending there, they showed, like, everybody sleeping, like, I guess the night after, but Mirio was, like... Well, they're, like, all in, like, a contemplative look. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it makes you think, uh, if it's all, like, if, it's, if that's all the t same time, because we saw him crying, of course, when... when night I died. Night I died. Yeah. But if that's, like, the night after... Maybe that's trying to say that, like, he's putting a smile on him and he's around other people, but it's yeah. just him, you know? That's the thing All Might does, yeah. you know? Like, he was in <sighs> pain and losing his powers and whatever else, but he still would put on a smile, smile for whoever's around. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Mirio has hope, though. He does. Yeah, he might. He's, he hopes he'll get it back. I mean, we speculated about will uh, Ari be able to Rewind switch the, it back, but mm -hmm. she's got to have way more control of her power. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that could be years. You know? She's yeah. just a little girl. And this whole episode really reminded me, like, man, these guys are teenagers doing this stuff, you know? Like, they're still yeah. real young. Like, mm -hmm. especially yeah. Ravity. Well, I, I like having, like, Aizawa, Aizawa talking to, like, yeah, Aravity and yeah. Sue and talking about, like, you know, even, even when they're saying to Deku, too. Just the idea of, like, you know, you guys did all you could. Don't dwell on thinking you could have done more. You know, yeah. it falls on us. Like, like, the adults that were there, it falls on them. Of not being able to complete it like they should have, not you young kids who yeah. weren't even supposed to be there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You know, it was like as soon as if the league shows up, you're done. They were there and they're fighting them. You know, yeah. like there's lots of reasons that they shouldn't have been in that fight. But if it wasn't been for them, it, they wouldn't have succeeded. You know. I love the extra layer of Aizawa with Deku. Like he doesn't. He's not saying like don't blame yourself. He's begging. Please don't blame yourself because he knows he will. You know. Yeah. That just he's a he's a. He's a good mentor for those kids. I'm interested on uh, if like All Might and Deku get a chance to talk with him being like outside of Mirio's whenever. Because yeah. we talked before about if Deku would offer his power to Mirio yeah, with Mirio not having powers and stuff, and Mirio immediately turned it down. But you know, All Might heard that. He did. And it, yeah. you know, is, is Deku doubting himself? Then does he not believe that he could be a great hero, or does he just believe that Mirio could be so much more than him? You know, like yeah. I wonder how their conversation will go. I imagine we'll have it at some point, but. Yeah, I don't know why. No, I agree. I mean, uh, from the from yeah from early in the season, I think we were speculating will that be a thing, especially when we realized that that he was going to be the successor. But he doesn't even know anything about it. Like he 
straight up said, like, I could give this to you. And Mirio, so no. he, he dismissed it and didn't even ask, like, that's possible, <laughs> you know? He's just like, no, 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 no. But still, like, it's kind of affecting, at least seeing that if that is what's happening in the ending thing, being like, ah, oh, man, he really is hurting, though. <sighs> I'm, really Sorry. Su- uh, I'm really surprised Gran Torino got out of there. I'm surprised. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of wish Perry. we could have saw the fight. Yeah. Yeah, true. Maybe they'll show next episode. Well, was it a fight or did they just run away? You they know, just like, took him. They got him. Because it looked like he was just running away and he had Kuro Giri and then he had. Yeah, but he was the, all the battered. Yeah, yeah, he had them in each hand. Like they just maybe well, barely escaped. Yeah, yeah, that guy did something and the whole mountain's gone. <laughs> yeah, that's like a gigantomachia. Now, yeah. is he the same guy that was asking for directions to the police station? Yeah, I thought about that too. Like in uh, what, in Kirishima's what, flashback. Yeah. There was a gigantic guy. He was like two blocks tall or two stories tall, and he had like a robe on. He's like, "Do you know where the nearest police station is?" <laughs> yeah, that's the only like guy that big that I've seen. That's true. I don't know. That guy looked like, bigger than that. You mean the one where? Uh, yeah, that guy looked like. like as tall as forty feet high. Yeah, they, <laughs> they sounded similar. Who's the pink horned acid girl? Yeah. You know? uh, oh, yeah. She was. She's yeah. like, it's over there. And she's yeah. like, thank you, you saved us. And yeah. She's she fine. Accidentally killed forty police officers. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't. No, I know, but he he found the police station, or whatever he was doing. He said, "You're a master, uh, all for one." He said, "Like if you ever need help protecting Shir, uh, uh, Shigaraki, Shigaraki, go to him." And he's just out in the woods, just yeah, yeah, hiding. Which I mean, you know, you guys are saying like, well, "How does he hide?" You know, like I can see someone trying to hide in. in the woods, you know? I mean... Like, if they're wanting to hide. Bigfoot's done it all this time. Imagine that guy. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> <hairy. gasps> yeah. Hey, I the the giants like, in Harry Potter do it all the time. Duck in amongst the trees, Well, Kurt Gary got spotted. I figured he gets spotted. Right. Yeah. Well, they were actively looking for him. Yeah. See, I'm wondering if there's more You wouldn't to have it. to actively look the other guy. He's just huge. And they tracked Kurt Gary to that guy, right? Well, they were. They didn't know he was there. Yeah. I, I'm wondering if there's more to it where the Kurt Gary was... Because there was a line they had where it's like, it's odd that he, you know, four, four sightings. It was careless. Like four sightings of Kirigiri seems, yeah, seems careless, is what I think what they said. So mm-hmm. I'm wondering if there's more to it. Yeah. If it's all part of the plan. Yeah, like, does he want to yeah. be captured for some reason? Because if he's that... captured and put in the same place as all for one, then maybe he can break all for one out. Maybe. I don't know. They've got those bombs implanted yeah. in their heads that if they even think about using their quirk, it'll blow up. In in four ten, they said Kirigur he's got his own job. So we were yeah. always speculating what he was doing. Yeah, because he was in that one meeting, mm-hmm. but then he was sent away. And then before that, they said that Grant Torino was off doing stuff too. He was mentioned in that one meeting with yeah. Twice and yeah, Dobby. Toga. Or yeah, Toga. Yeah. So mm-hmm. was he supposed to go there and get the heroes and? Giganto Machia to to fight to like activate him. Maybe to activate him to get him out of hiding. Yeah. I mean, that was a mountain. Yeah, it was gone. Yeah, it was a man. Like a ma- like, we've seen like all for one and and uh, and all might like they were leveling buildings during their fight, but buildings and then a, a pure rock mountain. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so Shigaraki has. A cork enhancer bullet, right? So he could shoot that guy. Oh my gosh! <laughs> then we had to get that Godzilla hero from the movie. Remember him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have to get that guy. Does he have a cork enhancer bullet? Doesn't he? Well, the, I know he took. The, the one guy has a thing. I know he took the red ones. The red ones were the removers, right? Yeah. And I think he took the blue ones, which I thought were supposed to be the returners. The the. Yeah, like this would be like returning your power because he has one that takes it and he has one that he's gonna summon the heroes that gives it back. Right, yes. that's what I thought they were. Unless it is one's a taking away and one is a boosting power one. Yeah, maybe. But they had said before about yeah, one gives and one that takes. was his that maybe, was his plan to make maybe the one too. that gives back also boosts it if you already have it maybe. or something. I don't know. Maybe it gives you another random one. <laughs> they I would want a random that one. big old thing with Ari on his back again. When are we going to beat that? Full cowling 100%. It's pretty, I don't know, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to be enough. With Bakugo and Shota, you need them. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Now now you, you got to do something. Now you got power. <laughs> so are we going to get to see their test? That might, it's part, might be what we can get next. That would be cool. I'd like to see it. We've had a lot with Deku and Sue and, you know, all them. With yeah. The, the journey we've been on, like, 
We haven't had any. The rest of one A. Todoroki or. I don't figure it'll be like the last test because the last test was like mini episodes. Well, it was. It was mini kids too. Yeah. You know, yeah. We could do like if you did it that way, you could have like watched one go through and then you go and you watch the other ones go through. This yeah. you just watch one group go through. Yeah. I mean, I'd like to see it, but if we did skip it, I wouldn't mind. No. I mean, we have like what ten episodes left this season. Oh, no. usually Something like twenty-five. Yep. I would like to see more of them in general because I feel like we haven't gotten I agree. any of the rest of 1A, really. Yeah. And they're like the biggest part. Yeah, and we also, I kind of want to see what Endeavor has to say to All Might. Yeah. You yeah. Know? I mean, I don't need all of 1A, you know, but I do want, I want, I'm just having them all together. Like Shoto, you know, yeah. Shoto's one I really want to know. Oh, Hachan, I want to see his growth. You yeah, don't need Pop Off. Is that, sh- no, I don't need Pop Off. <laughs> I don't need the Sugar Rush. I love Sugar Rush. I was there with the cake. Yeah. Therapy cake. Uh, that was pretty good. I, need, I need Mineta. Coda? Right? Coda. Is that the, the, uh, you know, the, the animal, animal guy? Iceberg? With his bunny. Yeah. Animal Animal voice. Invisible girl. Like, I can't even tell if she's happy, sad, anything, you know? You can tell by how her clothes move. Sometimes you there's can. things about her yeah, face. Well, we didn't know how much we needed Kirishima until this season. That's true. Either. He really came through, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Yeah, but he's been with Kachan a whole bunch. I, I He's what I like. <laughs> yeah. Well, the the new OP that we had here, the opening, uh, focused a lot on. Uh, I, I think it's Jira, right? What's her name? Yeah, the, uh, the, yeah. The, the, Kyoka, I don't Jira. have my ear jack. Yeah, ear jack. But she had like a kind of a big presence. I wonder if we'll have any stories with her in this half. Nice. Half. Maybe I want to see Naval Laser get together with Master Roshi and learn to do like a Kamehameha blast out of this. shoot it out into the ocean. Yeah. No, <laughs> you need you get him with. The Invisible Girl, using her super prism thing and his navel laser, you reflect mm. it back in into a more precise mm. super Like how Bakugo like has that, like, this thing. Yeah. Yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah. That thing. The breach charge thing. It'd be cool to, like, he shoots it into her and she's able to manipulate that, like, the... And shoot mm. it back out. Yeah. Or, or double shoot it with her arms. I don't know, something weird. <sighs> Sounded weird the way you set that up. What if there would be a battle with the bands? What? They yeah. had a band in the beginning. That'd be fun. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, it's great for Bill and Ted. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, it was a good episode. I think a little bit of a breather after the literally, like, how many episodes was that storm? I don't know, like, into the thing. Six? Yeah. It started with go. I remember, go! But, uh... Come on! It's, it's, been, it's been a bit, so that was a day. And Snatch did die. Yes, he did die. Yeah. Uh, poor Snatch. Poor Hulk Hogan. I think it's been like eight episodes. I think... I've heard this down, I'm like, because I, I see in Deco at the end with all this stuff, like, he needs Sir Nine Eyes collection. He's the only person that would take care of it, like, Sir Nine Eyes. Deku's? True. Yeah. Deku, take it. Because he was like, that limited edition poster, no one got. <laughs> like, that should be gifted to him. And he's doing everything he can against Sir Nine Eyes, but, <laughs> yeah. like, dodging the super. Yeah, leave the thing. tickle machine. Take the poster. <laughs> <laughs> What? No! Thanks, guys, for watching this episode of My Hero Academia. Come back next week and watch the next one. Subscribe so you don't forget. Because people are forgetful sometimes, and you don't want to be that. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know the other two on the sides are coming. <laughs>